Hello, welcome peeps, and today it's another review by Queen Roadkill Candy. Today, as you can see, we're doing the Sony PlayStation. I have the basic Sony PlayStation here, and then I have virtually the Slim. So, let's get started. Now, this is the first Sony PlayStation. You can see there's the reset button, this is your power, and here's your open. And it's a typical inside. We can see a little gear there, plastic top, here's our ports and all that. Looking at the back, you can see your power cord. This is the same as the original Xbox. Right here we have the AV in. I just want to show you that's this. And this one isn't name brand. I do have a few name brands, but they're actually on my PlayStation 2, so I can hook up like five systems to one television. Which, even though the output is a little less on these, because I can do that, that's why I do it. Moving over here, we have these two ports, which... Ta-da! Let me turn that around so you can read it so there we are and there we are here's the bottom all that great power stuff caution all that okay so that's the first one now we're going to you can see this one says ps1 and this is the one i actually use this big one here i need to change out the the spinner inside to spin the CD because it won't spin anymore which makes the games not read and I know it's a spinner because sometimes if I spin it it'll read the game so that's how I know that's the problem with this one I just gotta fix that all right so here's the PS1 you can see where I got it and how much I paid for it basically I bought this one because um, well, the other one, the spinner broke, and then I played my PlayStation 2 so much that the chip actually burnt out in it. So I can't play PlayStation 1 games on it anymore. And I don't have a backwards compatible uh, PlayStation 3. Although I wish the newest PlayStation was backwards compatible. But anyways, so you can see, this is the one I use. Put the CDs in there. That's how it looks. There, just the lid. You can see the Sony brand, and it still has the rating on the disc. It talks about the disc, and you can see, pulled out so you can see again. Martin Gothica Unification. Uh, the reason the PlayStation 1 is so good, honestly, is there's so many survival horror games. It's kind of the beginning of the golden ages for survival horror. So let's go back here, reset, and the on, and of course that's the open button. So here we have the two memory card ports over top of the controller port, just like the other one. Here's a memory card. And then as you can see there's the flap and it even says memory card on it. Then you just stick it right in here and ta-da! And then let's go around to the back here and as you can see there is the power is different. Quite nice looking. And then you have your AV multi out. There's also adapter to make this portable. Uh, this thing was out when it was trendy to have portable DVD players. And even though this one didn't play DVDs, it does play CDs. You could get a screen, it was all round, and you have it just back here. And people say it's portable, but yeah, I, I wouldn't count it as portable at all. Um, now let's go to the controller. This is, of course, a later model because we see the joysticks here we have the back right here on it to snap in down here now if we just uncoil it to actually take a look at the buttons on the controller for this all right so we have the directional pad 
Like I said, for later games, you have this right here, both of these. You have your analog, can turn that on and off. Your select, your start. I mean, you know what it looks like. They carried this model over to PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and then on the PlayStation 4, there's just a touch screen right here, basically. So, you know, here's your buttons, the square, X, circle, triangle. Right here, we have our two trigger and bumpers, or you could call them both bumpers if you wanted to. Now let's talk about something else that this system had. This system here, you could buy these extender. I It was so that you could play more multiplayer games. You know, you could have, have technically, you can get eight of these suckers. As you can see, I have two different shapes for them. And you plug them in, and then essentially you could have eight people playing a game. But, I mean, I think there's like, if, oh, there's not many games that utilize it. I don't think I own any of them. I think I uh, rented a game that had that feature, thought it was really cool, and assumed all the games had it, picked them up. I mean, it, it didn't break the bank or anything. And eh, not many games have it. So let's look at the game cases. Move this over right here. So I want to show you one of the ones that has double here. Uh, as you can see, this is Final Fantasy VII, very classic game, and this one is a greatest hit, shown here by the label. Um, so basically, if you find one that's a you know single game, it's just going to come in a typical CD case. But the two disc or three disc or however many disc each game is, it'll come in something like this. You open it up, have right here. You have the beautiful book in here. Then you would close it again, and right here you open it, and look at that. Three discs. And you know, you got beautiful artwork, so they really did care about, you know, how everything looked in the package back then. Nowadays, it's just kind of like, I don't know, thrown in there, I feel like. So, several different controllers. You can get them in colors. This one's glow in the dark. I think I got rid of all my controllers without the joystick because I was like, well, why bother? It's more modern and all that. Let's just show again for the viewers the size difference between the two. Pull this out so you can see exactly the difference. So as you can see, that's a lot smaller. It fits on the top. You know, it, it's pretty good. Um, Should you get one? Well, you know, if you have the same problem as me where your chip burnt out and you want to play those PlayStation 1 games, yeah, it's really good. I mean, I prefer holding a physical copy of the game. You can get most of the library downloaded on your PlayStation Vita, PlayStation 3, your 4. You know, you can get these games quite easily and they're honestly going to be a lot cheaper than buying this and then picking up the game. Not to mention it's going to save on space, but if you're a purist or honestly, you know, you still have yours kicking around, you know, then it's definitely really good thing to have going on for you. Uh, would I choose the smaller one over the bigger one? Definitely. I mean, I like having all my consoles. I actually had to split up my consoles on different television. Um, but um, let's say you have them all plugged into one television set. Look at this. This thing's so light, it can fit on top of another system. Or if there's just a tiny bit left of space, you know, this can, like, really fit in. I mean, you're going to have the protruding cords back here. It goes about out this far. But it's not terribly that bad, so you might be able to put it like this. I wouldn't suggest it, but it is a possibility. Uh, anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching. I definitely suggest picking this up if you want to play it in its original form. Bye!